uh, what happened was um, I uh, found out on um, Instagram that there's a protest in um, Harborns and um, I decided to attend the protest and um, there was only myself and another uh, protester that was with me so I decided to um, start chanting so so basically the chants were free free Palestine no justice no peace and then I did look at the police officers and did say that you know you have blood on your hands and uh, I could see them all staring at me looking at me and um, three officers decided to come my way and start asking me to basically um, stop chanting and then I challenged them and asked them it's my right to chant um, I'm outside the building I'm not doing anything wrong and they refused they said well if you if you carry on chanting then we will arrest you and I said well what what law have I broken uh, on what grounds and they they had no answer again they were becoming very agitated and I was speaking very calmly and um, to my shock uh, one of the officers um, just grabbed my hand and handcuffed my wrist uh, without any warning whatsoever I tried to speak to them have a you know calm discussion but they refused and then they just hurried me towards the police vehicle where um, I was um, sat down and told to basically just uh, stay quiet. Um, I'm a peace, peaceful protester. Um, I, I've been to many protests and people that know me know I am a peaceful protester and I'm not aggressive whatsoever but they weren't answering me, they were ignoring me and then when I asked them how long um, are you going to keep me in custody for their reply was basically um, until the activists on the roof get down uh, and when it's all over basically and I said well why do we why do you have to wait for that time and the reason was they didn't want me going back there so I did comply and I said uh, uh, I won't be going back uh, to the place but I felt very intimidated threatened um, I, I know my right I think you know that I know the f uh, I did nothing wrong and I had a right to be there um, it was all three of them that approached me um, they they were basically all aggressive and they, they all kind of surrounded me where I felt um, really intimidated that they sort of picked on a lady with a hijab um, you know tried to basically silence me and uh, just because I was vocal and I can tell you this that it hasn't worked I will carry on speaking out the truth um, speaking for the oppressed and uh, nothing's going to put me off uh, like that you know they can arrest me uh, thousands of times but we're, we're going to carry on speaking out for um, the Palestinian people I thank you so much to the community you've given me so much love and support and I really appreciate it um, don't let this uh, put you off uh, carry on what you're doing speak out you know um, like that saying goes uh, in enjoying good forbid evil if you can remove it with your hands do so otherwise use your voice